Hello everyone and welcome back again to On How Channel. My name is Enes and I'm working for you. So if you have any questions or any requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I do reply to each comment and if you are wondering why is that, because simply I'm working for you. And in this video, I will show you how to create and edit meta fills on product page on Shopify. So in this video, I will show you how to create them from scratch then I will show you how to add the data for them for each particular product. I will do an example for two products actually. I will do one for the shipping. I will have a table uh, under a collapsible row uh, for the shipping. So the meta field will be named shipping. Once the customer clicks on it, he will see a table with the countries and each one a duration in front of it. Uh, how much time it will take the product to be arrived. And the second one we will show you which is the materials and it would be just a text. I will also show you how to implement pictures or videos and the meta fields for the collapse rows on the product page. And this is a step-by-step -step video just by using the settings on Shopify themselves so not use any apps or anything like that. And as I said, I will show you how to create them from scratch. So my product page doesn't have any collapse rows yet. So let's just get to it and show you how to create and edit meta fields on product page for Shopify. As you can see, I'm accessing right now the dashboard. So let's just hit over and create the collapse rows for products first. Then we will create the meta fields for them. So let's just access the customize tool on Shopify and then just click on customize. And after that, let's just hit over to the product page and we will go for a product from here. Let's just change the product to an actual product. Let's just pick with this product, for example. And by the way, this product was uh, imported directly from AliExpress. If you are interested on how to import products from AliExpress to your Shopify store with the pictures, descriptions, and everything else, make sure to check out my channel as well as the reviews actually because yes you can upload the reviews from aliexpress with the pictures as well on the reviews and everything else directly to the product so the first thing as i said i will add the collapsible row to my shopify product which is this one right here and it will be right behind uh, below sorry the buy now button so to do that simply click on add block right here from the left menu click on it and you will see a collapsible tab right here simply click on it and should be right here below the buy now button but i don't see it simply click on it it will take you to the collapsible tab and it's right in the bottom so to put it everywhere you want simply click on the dots right here and let's just drag it all the way up and let's just put it just below the buy button and then just click on it and here it is so we have this name it as collapsible tab let's just rename it for the first Thing, which is materials and material will only have text on it as I said I will show you how to add text as well as pictures and lastly I will show you how to add tables so when a customer clicks on it it will see a table with some information on it and mostly people will use that for the shipping because each country has a different shipping for it so the customer can see uh, how much time or duration will take to, to be shipped to its specific country and let's just change the icon for it and uh, from the material, let's just go for uh, leaf or uh, leather. Let's just go for leather is better. And here is the icon for it for material is leather, which makes sense. Right now, we need to add another one as well uh, for the shipping, which will has uh, a table, as I said. So let's just click again on add block and let's just select collapsible tab right here. And it will be by default at the bottom of the screen. Let's just drag it up to the just below the materials here. And here is so this one for the shipping. So let's just name it shipping. Uh, let's just change the icon for it let's just pick something that's uh, relevant for example map the mapping so this is makes sense for the shipping right now we need to add elements as i said for each one because those are empty you can use the table content right here to add anything you want for example to the materials however if you have multiple products or a lot of products you need to do that for each one of these but with using the meta fails it will be much much easier so we did save the things that we did add in here let's just get back to the settings so click on the settings at the bottom right corner bottom left corner sorry and after that click on custom data right here and it will show you the meta fields if you don't have any it should see zero right here so let's just click on products because we want to add the meta fields to products page and after that click on add definition and let's just name the first one which is materials and the namespace and key let's just keep it like this the description uh, just materials for products and this option right here it says select a type simply click on it and then here you will need to select the type of the data that you need to add to this meta field so the best one that will be suited for our case which is materials is the either the single line text or the multi-line text let's just select the multi-line text because obviously it will have uh, multiple materials for a specific product let's just select this one and for those rules the maximum character count and so on 
let's just keep that blank and it will give us all the options so we can customize it however we want and then just click and save and uh, let's just add the second one which is the shipping so click on add definition right here and let's just name it shipping and let's just keep the namespace and key like this and description is shipping for products and right now we need to select the type in here and we will not select the single lines or multi lines we will select a different thing which is just click on it and scroll all the way down until you see a reference right here the reference section and click on page right here and as I said this is where we're gonna display a table to the customer and it's gonna show them all the shipping for each country as well as the duration so let's just click on save and right now we did create two meta fields which is the shipping and materials and right now let's just get back to the product which is this one right here and if we scroll all the way down you will see two options for the meta fields which is the shipping and materials this the ones that we did create right now so let's just create the first one which is materials the second one we will not create yet because we didn't create the elements for it which is as i said the table so let's just click on materials it will give us the option to type in a text in here because we did select multi-line text so let's just uh, what is this by the way this is a beauty product so let's just go for something that's relevant for example, let's just type in here case aluminium. Is this how you type aluminium? Correct me, Chrome. Yes, thank you. And the massager or the, the thing that's put in the face directly will be like plastic. I don't know, I'm just guessing. This is just for demonstration. It's not a product that I'm actually uh, working on. So the case will be aluminium and the massager will be plastic so let's just save the things that we did create right now so simply save and right now we just head over to pages and we will create a page with the table on it for the uh, for the shipping for each country so let's just click on online store from here and let's just click on pages and let's just click on add page and let's just name it shipping and the content right here we will click on insert table and we will click on the first option which is the only ones available and after that we will click again on insert table and we will click on insert column after and it will have a second column in here so let's just type in for example USA and the duration for sh shipping for it would be between 10 days and 15 days and let's just add another one just below it and let's just type in, in here Europe for example shipping for it will be between 8 and 10 days let's just add another one as well just for demonstration after that let's just save the page and let's just get back to the product page and scroll all the way down and let's just click on shipping and it will tell us hey select a page and right now we can simply click on select page and select the shipping page which will have the table for our customer so let's just click on it and after that click on save and I should have done this before I, I access the product page I apologize I forget to do that anyway so right now all we need to do is get back to the team customizer right here simply click on customize and let's just get back to the product page and let's just select our product which is the one we did add the table to and right now let's just edit the first one which is the materials simply click on it and after that just on the right of the table content click on this icon right here where it says answer dynamic source simply click on it and let's just select the materials which is the meta field that we did create for the product so let's just click on it and after that let's just click on save and if we did click on materials right here it will show us the materials for it which is the thing that we did add to the product which is aluminium and plastic as you can see and now let's just do the same for the shipping so just click on shipping and after that click on table from page right here as you can see simply click on it and it will show you all the pages available and we did create the shipping which has the table for our customers to see the shipping on it so simply click on it and click on select and let's just save the changes and right now if we did click on shipping it will show us the table as you can see for the USA 10 days 15 Europe 10 and 8 days and Asia is 5 to 7 days and right now you don't have to do all of these each time for each product right now you can simply uh, change the product from here let's just change the product let's just go for this uh, bracelet right here and here they are as you can see however they will be empty as you can see for example if the shipping is the same as the previous product if we click on the shipping right now it will show us the same table which includes the shipping dates for each country however for the materials it will be different because we need to add the materials 
to the products page and you can do that let's just get back in here to the product page which is the this bracelet right here and if we scroll all the way down you should see the shipping and the materials and let's just click on the materials because in this one we did not select a static page for it we did select a multi-line text so the materials will be this one leather i think and uh, silver for example if we did click on save in here and if we did get back to the tool customizer and let's just go to the product page and if we click on materials right now it will not show us anything however simply click on it and after that do the same click on answer dynamic source and click on materials right here and let's just save this it's already saved it and here we are as you can see leather and silver which is the materials for the bracelet right here so right now all you need to do is it over to each product and simply scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page and add the materials for it however for the static elements like the shipping in this case it will be the same for all products so that's how you create and edit meta fields from products page on shopify and as i said in the beginning of the video i'm working for you so if you have any questions or any video requests make sure to drop them below in the comment or check out my instagram right here below me i don't reply to each comment and if you are wondering again why is that because simply i'm working for you otherwise i think my job is done for this video so thanks for watching catch you on the next one